Hello students, how are you? I hope you are uh, fine, right? So now I'll start uh, today's lecture. And today's lecture will be techniques of polymerization in which we will study about techniques of polymerization, right? So uh, it is a course of polymer, related to polymer, right? So uh, I will share my screen now. I have shared my screen. So today we will study about the techniques of polymerization. What are the techniques of polymerization? This is also important for GATE exam also. So many questions from, from bulk polymerization, solution polymerization, this type of thing. And also emulsion polymerization. So now we can see the polymerization techniques, right? Polymerization techniques. I am going to start now. I am going to more so you can see polymerization techniques. Right. So today is Sunday also, so I have uh, some of you enjoyed also. Right. So now it's time for some studies. So polymerization techniques. So we have techniques of polymerization like uh, addition polymer polymerization. In this uh, we have bulk polymerization, solution polymerization, suspension polymerization, and emulsion polymerization. BSSE, right? So BSSE, B stands for bulk, S stands for solution, S stands for suspension, E stands for emulsion, right? So addition polymerization, in this uh, we have to study for polymerization. When Next is condensation polymerization. So in this melt polycondensation, solution polycondensation. So we'll study about this so bulk polymerization. Bulk polymerization. So I'm means I, I will read also and I will explain also, right? So no problem or whatever. So mass or block polymerization. So mass or block polymerization also bulk polymerization. So polymerization of the undiluted monomer. Undiluted. Monomer. So, uh, in case of polymerization, we have to already uh, we have to study about monomer, right? Monomer are the basic unit for the polymer. So, in this uh, undiluted monomer, is there undiluted. So, we, we don't need to have dilute monomer. Carried out by adding a soluble initiator to pure monomer in liquid state, right? So, in this, uh, we, we add initiator in the monomer. The mixture is constantly agitated and heated to polymerization temperature and then mix initiate of once uh, we uh, uh, add the uh, initiator then we have to mix right so, <clears throat> and the once the once the reaction starts heating is stopped as the reaction is exothermic the reaction will be exothermic right? the heat generated is dissipated by circulating water jacket so water jacket will be there so whatever heat is generated we can dissipate the water right so it basically it is a transfer type of thing so viscosity increases dramatically during conversion so when conversion starts so uh, here what happens viscosity increases here to the inverse viscosity will be increased in the uh, uh, next is uh, the method is used for the polymerization of liquid state monomers, right? So liquid state monomers uh, will uh, use. So it is usually adapted to produce polystyrene, polyvinyl chloride, polymethyl methacrylate, and low density poly ethylene. So examples are bulk polymerization. Examples of bulk polymerization is, right? So polystyrene, polyvinyl chloride, that is PVC, polymethyl methacrylate, uh, PMMA and uh, low density polyethylene right so these are the example of bulk polymerization and uh, so this is a typical pictorial representation of bulk polymerization right so, right? so uh, there is agitator there is one reactor right uh, this is the uh, heating and the cooling effect right And uh, monomer plus initiator will be uh, inside the reactor. So this way, this is the pictorial for uh, bulk polymerization. So advantages and disadvantages. So when we when we made the polymer uh, from bulk polymerization, 
So some advantages uh, will be there and some disadvantages will be there. So advantages are uh, the system is simple and requires thermal insulation. As the system is uh, simple and requires thermal insulation. The polymer is obtained pure. So whatever polymer uh, we are getting is pure. Right? So large casting may be prepared directly. Uh, and uh, molecular weight distribution can be easily changed with the use of a chain transfer agent. Right? These are the advantages. So uh, what uh, is the molecular weight distribution can be easily changed with the use of a chain transfer agent. Right? So these are the advantages of bulk polymerization. And now some disadvantages are also there. So heat transfer and mixing become difficult as the viscosity of reaction mass increases. Right? So heat transfer and mixing become difficult in this uh, uh, because viscosity increases. So <clears throat> heat transfer and mixing become difficult. So highly exothermic the uh, means uh, heat will be released and uh, the polymerization is obtained with uh, broad molecular weight distribution due to the high viscosity and the lack uh, of good heat transfer. Very low molecular weight are obtained. So, so in this uh, uh, technique, we can uh, able to produce uh, less molecular weight, uh, less molecular weight uh, polymer. Right. So these are the disadvantages. Now, uh, this comes uh, now. Uh, next uh, polymerization technique is solution polymerization. Right. So we we'll study about this. So some disadvantages of bulk polymerization are eliminated in solution polymerization. So some disadvantages were there in case of bulk polymerization. So, right. So that that uh, comes picture solution polymerization. So in this uh, what uh, what are the things? The monomer along with initiator dissolved in solvent. So we need some solvent, right? So monomer along with initiator dissolved in solvent. So in this case, solvent is required. Uh, polymer stays dissolved, right? So the mixture is kept at the polymerization temperature and constantly agitated. Right? So mixture is kept at polymerization temperature. So whatever the temperature is, uh, is there, we have to uh, set that temperature and uh, constantly agitate. So depending on concentration of monomer, the viscosity of solution does not increase. So depending on the concentration of monomer, so what concentration of monomer is there, the viscosity of the does not increase. Viscosity, we don't need to worry about uh, viscosity changes in case of solution polymerization. So basically, in this, uh, we dissolve initiator and uh, make some, uh, when some solvent is there so that uh, proper mixing is obtained. And next is, after the reaction is over, the polymer is used as a such in the form of polymer solution or the polymer is isolated by operating the solvent. Polymer soap form can be used for the surface coating, right? So surface coating basically uh, its application is surface coating. It is used for the production of polyacrylonitrile, PVC, polyacrylic acid, polyacrylamide, polyvinyl alcohol, PMMA, polybutadiene, etc. Right? So uh, what are the examples of uh, solution polymerization? So some example I have already uh, taught. That's so, a polyacrylonitrile, PVC, polyacrylic acid, polyacrylamide. Polyvinyl alcohol, PMMA, polybutadiene, ETC. Okay, so these are the uh, examples of uh, solution polymerization. Next, uh, we have. Next, we have. Uh, so these are the pictures, right? So here uh, we can see this is the polymer. So in this, uh, we are adding solvent. Right? So these are the speaker in which uh, we are adding solvent. And these are uh, reactions. So after reaction, we can get uh, polymer like that. So this is obtained from uh, solution polymerization technique. And so this is another picture. And some advantages. Uh, now uh, we are talking about solution polymerization technique. So some advantages uh, will be there. So what are the advantages? So what advantages? Uh, the solvent act as a diluent and uh, helps in, helps in facilitating continuous transfer of heat of polymerization. Therefore, temperature control is easy. Right? So, the solvent allows CG stirring as it decreases the viscosity of reaction mixture. Right? So, solvent, uh, what are the role of solvent? So, solvent allows CG stirring as it decreases the viscosity of a reaction mixture. Right? So, viscosity will be decreased. Solvent also facilitates the ease of removal of polymer from the reactor. So, these are the examples. Because we are adding the solvent in solution uh, polymerization. So, its name suggests because in solution basically solute plus solvent which is there. So solvent also facilitates the ease of removal of polymer from the reactor. Right? So ease of removal. So removal will be easy when you use solvent. Now, viscosity build up is negligible. So if you use solvent, 
so viscosity build up uh, is negligible means the viscosity increases is not a problem in case of strict uh, solution polymerization as for disadvantages also uh, all the uh, every reaction has some advantages some disadvantages so here also some disadvantages uh, are there to get pure polymer eupression of solvent is required right so we have to break the solvent uh, additional additional technology so it is essential to separate and record the solvent right? so method is costly since it uses costly solvent so also solvent is uh, costly so this is uh, basically costly so polymer uh, polymers of high molecular weight polymer cannot be formed as the solvent molecules may act as a chain terminator right so, so, Solvent we are using is a chain terminators. So polymer of high molecular weight will be not found in this uh, <coughs> technique. The, the technique uses smaller yield of polymer per reactor volume. A smaller yield of polymer uh, per reactor volume as the solvent uh, solvent uh, waste the reactor is right? So if some uh, reactor is facing will be uh, occupied by solvent. So if the smaller yield uh, will be out there. The purity of product is also not as high as that of bulk polymerization. So here, in case of uh, solution polymerization, uh, purity is the issue. We cannot uh, obtain a pure product. So this is the disadvantage. Removal of last traces of solvent is difficult. So removal of solvent is uh, difficult, uh, which I have already taught you. So now, next is uh, suspension polymerization. So suspension polymerization. There is names uh, suggest uh, we, we are making suspension. Right? So liquid or dissolved monomer suspended in liquid uh, phase like water. Right? So here uh, suspension phase will be obtained. So liquid or dissolved monomer suspended in liquid phase like water. Right? This is the initiator used uh, our monomer soluble. Uh, right? So whatever initiator we are using is uh, soluble in uh, monomer like the dibenzoyl peroxide, right? So dibenzoyl peroxide is used as a initiator, which is dissolved in the uh, monomer. Thus, the polymer is produced in heterogeneous medium. So if we have a heterogeneous medium, right? So initiator, the size of monomer droplet is 50 to 200 micrometer. Here, the droplet size will be important, right? So 50 to 200 micrometer in diameter are, uh, will be good for the suspension polymerization. The, the dispersion is maintained by continuous agitation and the droplets are prevented police unit unite or merge by adding a small quantity of stabilizers right the dispersion is maintained by continuous agitation and the and the droplets are prevented police unite or merge by adding a small quantity of stabilizers so here stabilizers are also used just to uh, because uh, we want to uh, separate dispersion, right? So the dispersion is maintained by continuous agitation and the droplets are prevented to collapse, unite or merge by adding a small quantities of stabilizers, right? So these are the and uh, next is the stabilizers used are so stabilizers used in case of suspension polymerization are PVA, gelatin, cellulose are used along with inorganic stabilizers such as kaolin. Magnesium silicate, aluminium hydroxide, calcium or uh, magnesium phosphate, ETC is uh, necessary. Uh, this is the uh, thing. As it, comes, uh, it, as it concerns with droplet, each droplet is tiny bulk reactor. The polymerization takes place inside the droplet and product form being insoluble in water. Okay. So these are the things. The products are separated out in the form of spherical pearls or bits of polymer. Hence, the technique is also known as parallel polymerization or granular polymerization or bead polymerization. So, suspension polymerization, we name it like that. So, here a stabilizer is there. Right? So, the stabilizer so like PVA, gelatin, cellulose. Uh, the, the products are a small uniform sphere. So, in this, uh, we uh, get a, a spherical particles. They can be used directly for some application as precursors of ion exchange resin. Right? Ion is using ion exchange resin. Otherwise, they can be extruded and chopped to form larger, easily molded uh, pellets. Right? So these are the uh, features of suspension uh, polymerization. They can be dissolved in a suitable medium for use as adhesive and coatings. Yes, these are the yes, additives and the coatings uh, we can use. This technique is used to form polyvinyl chloride, polyvinyl acetate, polystyrene, sarin divinyl benzene, copolymer bits for an entity. So these are the. 
So here are some pictures of the suspension polymerization. So organic phase in aqueous phase will be there. Right. So monomer droplet uh, will be there. Monomer is a form of droplet. We are providing suspension, right? And, and polymer particles. So after the reaction, we are getting polymer like that. Is this black dot represent polymer? And this is hysteria. These are the monomer. Monomer droplet and polymer particles. So this is the peculiar representation of suspension polymerization. So advantages will be there. What are the advantages? Uh, I will discuss now. So right, uh, the process is comparatively cheap as it involves only water instead of solvent. So we do not have a highly cost the solvent. Uh, we can use water in this as well. So it means it is basically suspension polymerization. So viscosity increase increase is basically well. So here no problem of viscosity increases. So agitation and temperature control is easy. So relatively easy. Agitation and temperature control is easy. Product isolation is easy since the product is insoluble in water. Right. So product isolation uh, means uh, we are we have to separate product. Right. So product is insoluble in water. Right. So this is the importance of the suspension polymerization. Right. So disadvantages are, are also there. So the method can be adopted only for water insoluble monomers. Right. Water insoluble monomers. It is difficult to control polymer size. It is difficult to control polymer size. The polymer solubility is low due to the presence of suspending and destabilizing additives uh, that are difficult to remove completely. Suspension polymerization reaction is highly agitation uh, sensitive. Larger volume of reactor is taken up by water. The method uh, cannot be used for the tacky polymer such as your electromer because of the tendency of agglomeration of polymer particles. As tacky polymers uh, are not uh, good for this, uh, the method cannot be used for tacky polymer, right? So tacky polymers, uh, uh, we have to do for other things as well. So these are the disadvantages of uh, suspension polymerization. So next is important one is emulsion polymerization, right? So emulsion polymerization uh, here it is. And the technique is used for the production of large number of commercial plastic and the elastomer, right? So uh, this technique is used for the plastic and the elastomer. The system consists of water insoluble monomer. Uh, dispersion medium and uh, emulsifying agent or uh, surfactant, so soap and detergents, and uh, uh, water soluble initiator, potassium persulfate or uh, H2O. PPC. Yeah, so, this is the important uh, feature of the emulsion polymerization. Right? So the system consists of water insoluble monomer. So, here water insoluble monomer will be there. So, it is basically uh, hydrophobic. Monomer is hydrophobic. So, this person medium and emulsifying agent are surfactant. So, emulsifying agents are surfactant, soaps and detergent, right? So, and water soluble initiator. Water soluble initiator will be there, uh, but the water insoluble will be there. So, example are water soluble in initiator are potassium per sulfate or H2O2 hydrogen peroxide. It is PPC. The monomer is dispersed in the aqueous phase not as a discrete droplet, but as a uniform emulsion. Right? So the, the size of monomer droplet is around 0.5 to 10 micrometer in diameter, depending upon the polymerization temperature and the rate of agitation. The size of monomer droplet is around monomer droplet. The size is will be 0.5 to 10 micrometer in this case, right? depending upon the polymerization temperature and rate of agitation, how much we are providing agitation temperature. This is the case. Now, uh, the emulsion of monomer in uh, water is stabilized by surfactant. So, in this case, we are using surfactant. A surfactant has a hydrophilic and a hydrophobic end in the structure. Surfactant has both the uh, end. Right? Hydrophilic means the water loving and hydrophobic water hating. And in, in the structure, when it is uh, put into water, the surfactant molecules gather together into aggregates called mixes. Right? So when it uh, when it is put into a water. The surfactant molecules uh, gather together into aggregates called micelles. The hydrocarbon tails hydrophobic orient inwards and heads hydrophilic uh, orient uh, outwards uh, into water. And the monomer only molecule diffuse uh, from monomer droplets to water and uh, from water to hydrocarbon center of micelles. So these are the examples. Right, so here uh, this is picture. This picture shows. Mechanism of the emulsion polymerization. So here monomer droplets will be there, right? monomer molecules will be there, and the water is there, initiator radical so polymer. So in this is the and size is 50 angstrom, 40 angstrom. 
it is a mixture for means uh, here basically surfactant is used so surfactant poly the uh, hydrophobic end and uh, hydrophilic end will be there so these are the polymer polymer so next is uh, immersion polymerizer and the other picture surfactant molecule and initiator molecule red one is uh, initiator molecule and black one is surfactant molecule so this polymerization this uh, the first Normal drop rate will be there. It says formation will be take place like that. After polymerization, we can get the uh, polymer. The affected molecules are left out. Red one is the initiator molecule. That guys, so this is the picture here which represents the immersion polymerization. And uh, immersion polymerization, we have water, we have monomer, we have surfactants. So these are the features. The examples are immersion polymerization, we can get. Uh, Synthetic rubber, starin butadiene, SPI, starin butadiene rubber, polybutadiene, polychloroprene, right? So plastics uh, in plastic, polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, acrylonitrile, butadiene, starin, uh, tar polymer, ABS, dispersion, polyvinyl acetate, polyvinyl acetate, uh, polymer, uh, latex, acrylic, paint, starin butadiene, BAE, right? So these are the examples of emulsion polymerization. Uh, right? So advantages and disadvantages are there. So advantages are high molecular weight polymers we can uh, produce uh, from suspension polymerization. Fast polymerization rate, polymerization rate is fast, allows removal of heat from the system, right? Removal of heat from the system. Viscosity remains close to that of water and is not dependent on the fit. In the range of water and not depend on the molecular weight viscosity. The final product can be used as such that not need to be altered or processed right so no need to do further uh, process or no need to further alter directly you can uh, use as a final product the disadvantages are there so surfactants and polymerization uh, at you end difficult to remove right difficult to remove for dry isolated polymers water removal is an energy intensive process uh, designed to operate at a high conversion of monomer to polymer Right, uh, monomer to polymer is designed to operate at high conversion. Right, this can result in significant chain transfer to polymer. It cannot be used for the condensation ionic or jiggler nata polymerization. Right, it cannot be used for condensation ionic or jiggler nata polymerization. So, these are the disadvantages of so, suspension polymerization. So, this ends the techniques of polymerization, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed my session. And now, I will, I will stop uh, today's uh, session. So this uh, is the uh, last uh, slides. Uh, right, right. Now I will stop. And uh, if you have any doubts, so we can ask in the comment section. And uh, I will uh, solve those questions. Right. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day.